Good morning. Welcome to day 19. Today I decided to take the practice outside, get some extra fresh air in my lungs for day one of pranayama. So today is Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So you start with the right hand up and the first two fingers come down. You plug the right nostril and breathe in through the left. Then you use your fingers to plug the other nostril and breathe out the right. So I'm gonna demonstrate it better, but I'm gonna use my right hand. So breathing in through the left, switch, breathing out through the right. Then breathe in through the right, switch, breathe out through the left. Okay, then breathe in through the left, switch, breathe out through the right. And we're just gonna keep doing this for about seven minutes. <laughs> alternate nostril breathing, not he showed now. So in through the left. Out through the right. So it's always an out, then an in on the same side. So I went in, then switch, then out. Cool. So in, breathe in, then switch, breathe out. So it can seem a little tricky at first, but then once you get it, you're like, oh, this is really easy. Then breathe in, then switch, and breathe out. So just continue breathing in, switch, breathe out. Then breathe in, switch, breathe out. So just continue following along with me. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Nadi Shodhana as we breathe. So it's said that the left and right hemispheres of our brain do different things. And we are wired for different our, our left and right side operate differently. One is more intellect and logical and math and science, and the other is our artsy intuition, connection to nature, our emotions, that kind of thing. So when we practice Nadi Shodhana, it actually helps to balance out the right and left hemispheres of the brain so that we can think more clearly and they can work together. So this is some crazy awesome stuff and you actually feel it. You feel the difference after even just two minutes or three minutes. I like to go to five or seven minutes of Nadi Shodhana and I used to do this every day and I think I'm going to go back to it because it's just such a an amazing tool to alleviate anxiety, to calm your nervous system, and to balance your mind. And it's also kind of fun, and it's something nice to go do outside as well for me. I've always had weird stuff with my breathing, which is probably why I'm so passionate about teaching and reminding people how to breathe and getting fresh air. That's all really important to me. Fresh air is medicine. Breathing consciously is medicine. So this is great for our, our body, our mind, and our spirit. And pranayama is a big practice in yoga. It's where it all began. Just breathing to escape the world, escape the mind, and connect to the body, connect to the breath, and reach higher levels of awareness and consciousness. 
So continuing your Nadi Shodh mat. It's always an out, then an in on the same side, then you switch. Then an out, then an in, then you switch. And you always start and begin with the left nostril. I don't remember why, but it's something to do with the left and right side of the brain, so that's just the way that I was taught, to start and end with the left nostril and with your right hand. So the camera's confusing because it obviously looks like I'm doing it the other way, but... Okay, continuing our Nadi Shodhana just for a couple more minutes, not too much longer. Breathing fully, not pushing too hard on your nose either. I used to really apply a lot of pressure to my nostril and one time I saw a video of me doing it and I realized it looked like I was breaking my nose. I'm just trying to lightly and gently plug the nostril. Relaxed shoulders, deep breaths. And nice and slow and mindful, I even kind of hold it just for a second. Once I fully breathe in, there's like a second of holding before I exhale. Let's just take three more rounds of breath here. Roughly, you might have to do four, but just making sure you finish on the left side. And after you take your last breath, after you exhale on the left, take a big deep breath in and hold it. Hold your breath here. And exhale slowly and fully, feeling the effects of Nadi Shodhana alternate nostril breathing. It's like Hydrating your spirit. Nourishment for your soul. It's one of my favorite practices and it was an honor to share it with you today. Thank you for joining me. I'm really excited for tomorrow as well. Namaste, beautiful souls. I'll see you tomorrow for Kapalabhati, Breath of Fire, and Day 20 of 21 Days of Yoga. Gosh.